Roger, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Great, great. Now, uh, what are some of your strong uh, suits that you would bring to an NFL franchise? I would probably and, uh, say... Has the Bills been in contact with you? I'll say on the, the strong um, suits I bring onto the team is just um, my skill set. Just I may mean, name myself just playing press, and I, I feel like I can adjust uh, easily like to the system. Um, I can play corner, I can play nickel, I can move around right anywhere where coach wants me to play. It's just, just that instinct that I have and that dog mentality, and that way I can bring to the team. And I feel like I can do that right away. Yes, sir. I feel like I feel like that was great for me going against the great receiver throughout my whole college career. Um, from Henry Ruggs to Jamar Chase to um, Devontae Smith, just them guys in the lead now. I feel like I, I went up great against them. And, like, see it. and I see how they doing great. So I just know me going to the next level and going against the great receivers, I feel like I'm in a great, great position to go against one of the great receivers in the league. How do you answer that? What is it about your ability that allows you to it was, it was an experience just Oh, yeah, that's crazy how people talk about my short arms now, but like throughout my whole college career, they haven't said nothing about it. But like, that is like, I don't I don't worry about that at all. I just play. That's how I am. I'm a quick guy, so I don't care about no short arms. I come to play, and that's what it is. Great quarterback, uh, great person at the end of the day, too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to him a little bit. Um, uh, 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 the kind of the Mario Mathis is also... Um, um, I feel like what's going on now, I feel like they're just, they just rebuilding. Um, you know, some coaches left and some players have left, so they got to rebuild. They just all got to be on the same page. But I know at the end, you know, all coaches come together and they be talking, get on the same page. I feel like it's going to be great for them in the future. Roger, have you been in contact with you? Yes, sir, with the, with the interviews, that's it. Have you met with the Steelers at all? Um, yes, sir. I meant to say that. No, we were talking about the fourth quarter game. Can you take me a little bit through your matchup with Jamar Chase? I thought that was a pretty good match. What was that matchup like, and what do you think that showed? Yeah. Going into that game, just going to that game, I just, that was my first time starting in college. So I was just I was just happy to be out there. So going into that game, I, I didn't care who he was. I was just going out there to play and just be me and just like be there for my teammates. And I feel like I did great in that game. And then I got my confidence. That were really started like my college career there. And I feel like he's just going against that type of guy and what he's doing now, I'm, I'm, I'm confident in going to the next level. And you were able to like, get up and press and jamming and stay with him down the field. What do you think that says about your skill set, regardless? What people say about I mean, I, I'm not surprised that I did good against him because I, I'm confident in me. Like, I truly believe I can guard anybody. So, like, going into the next level and what people say by my short arms, I don't care. I'm going to play no matter what. Tall receiver, quick, tall, fast, no matter what. I'm just playing against the best. Bonis, I feel like Bonis, he, he's a great leader for everybody. Like, he, he's, not, he's not no person who will sugarcoat anything. He would just tell the truth. And he will always want to push you. He always going to be vocal. He always going to be there for somebody when somebody needs his help. And that was how a guy Bo was 24 7. He never had bad days. Um, Bo, he, he was truly competitive. Even when he made bad plays, he'd be hard on himself. He made good plays. He'll talk a little trash to me. It's just, it's just like the, the little environment, like the energy that was at practice every time. Bo always came with it, and he always just wanted to be the defense. That was was every time. And I feel like at every time of the practice, he learned something new every time, and he that's why he did better in the game. With Bo out of the program now in Oregon, I feel like I showed the physicality uh, part of it being on the team at the edge. Um, 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 no, sir. Um, I, I don't know like, all, all, all of the quarterbacks that are there now, but um, just like looking at the quarterbacks that are there or anything. Uh, I wouldn't know or would say who would be next, but I'm truly just happy. Like, whoever go, I just hope they step up and just so lead the program I, right. I kind of Roger, have you met with the Dolphins yet? And if so, because their their meetings, have, have we've been told, are kind of maybe a little bit unusual. Have you met with them? And if so, what was the meeting like? Uh, yes, sir, I had met the Dolphins, but it was just like uh, informal, just get to know you type of interview. So being Roger, just a player that can be uh, hard for me sometimes just because I can't get my hands on Shift, shift your guys. Um, yes, um, it's just some of these bands just like just just, just keep me focused. Um, someone I got on is for a person, like somebody who went through domestic violence. There was somebody who had cancer, so it's just like just letting people know that they're not alone. And I'm 
are just like here to like support them. Have you kept it? Uh, I feel like they, they have a good feeling about me. I feel like they have a really good feeling about why they're now former teammates and all of a sudden is what now. So uh, kind of talk so, to him. I'm going to that game. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't really like pay attention to him because they just wanted me to take James and mention. Roger, have you kept in touch with Noah Benogany since he left?